today is February 1st, and so we are doing all of our Valentine's Day prep. My husband is actually off today, and so he has taken the kids, the babies, to um, with him to drop the big kids off at school so that I can get this um, film. So we are going to do baskets. We do little baskets. I try to keep it minimal um, for all of our kids on Valentine's Day. <clears throat> and then we'll do the class gifts and teacher gifts. And then kind of talk about like our plans for Valentine's Day. So last year I got these buckets from Dollar Tree and then this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby and then this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. So I have two different kinds. It's like the fuchsia kind and then also like the pale pink kind. So I obviously am a mom of four kids. So I obviously have four buckets. They already had the little filling in, but I also bought more filling. Um, so we'll see what if we need it. Bag of goodies here. Um, these are from the Target dollar spot. I got two blue ones, and then I also got two red ones for the girls. So we're just gonna put those in there. And then I also got all of them bath bombs. So these are the ones, actually those are, one. They had pink and purple. These are the ones that have like the fun surprise in them. And I got, I get these at Target. They also have some from Walmart. They sell the same ones at Walmart. But my mom bought my daughter some from Amazon and she loved them and they were cheaper. So but they came in like a pack so that might be an option if you have time for that um okay for my oldest we'll go from oldest to youngest so for my oldest i got this my oldest is a boy he's eight years old he loves games i got him this from five below i believe it was five dollars and then he is very active in sports I have kind of noticed that he is starting to have a little bit of an odor. Um, so I got him some deodorant. Uh, so there's that. And then I also got these. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I bought these last year or this year, um, but just some silly straws. So my kids range from eight to two. So I do, I don't do like the, um, all the baskets the same because obviously my, my two year old is going to like different things than my eight year old. Um, so that basket's done. And then I also have two boys and two girls. So it's just, it's, it's different. So for my other daughter, I bought her some socks because she's always losing her socks. And then I bought these like barrettes or bows from Dollar Tree. So my oldest daughter is going to get this one. And then she's also going to get a fun straw. So there's that. And done. Um, and then my three-year-old, he's a boy. So I got, we got my baby a sensory table for her birthday and he is like taking over it. He loves it. So I found this at Aldi's. It's a kinetic sand, like a surprise thing that I thought that he would absolutely love. So I got him this um, and then I got him some silly dough. So his looks a little, not as full, but it's just because that's not. I might put some more filling in his, but anyways, there's that. And then for my baby, my baby is a girl. Oops, I forgot the straw. So there's that. Um, my baby is a girl. So I 
the other bow and then another little like play-doh thing that super simple i try to keep it i mean it's a valentine's day so i try not to go over and beyond i have done like <clears throat> a group like a family basket before um and then i also bought books that i might just like lay out so i do i might have to go up there and show you so in our playroom we have a book um shelf and i like to decorate it for like each holiday that's like the one area that i do decorate for each holiday i'm not like a big like go all out for the holidays um so i think what i might do is um but my mom sorry my mom already decorated that area so i'll um go up there and show you i might there are a couple books that she didn't include, so I might just revamp that a little bit. But, um, my, speaking of my mom, she's actually coming over today to watch the babies while my husband and I go on a hot date. So, I'm super excited about that. We're not gonna, like, go out anywhere fancy. We're just gonna go to like a sandwich place that we've been wanting to try that for while well, we've been together, we've been married 10 years. We want to try it for that long. Um, so we're gonna go finally try that. And then we have like, I really want to paint my daughter's room. So we are going to go and get just some paint samples. Um, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just filling the, the buckets a little bit more and then I'm going to put these away because I don't know when they're going to be back and then we'll move on to the next thing that I'm super excited about. This is like a trend that's going around. It's called candy salad. Um, I went to Walmart. I don't know where these people are finding like all this candy because like the Walmart that I went to. It ha I, I guess maybe I'm just picky about my candy too. Um, I like certain things, but they didn't have some of the candy that I've been seeing floating around. So I did get these at Dollar Tree whenever I was there the other day. And then I got, my husband really liked, this is his favorite Skittles. So I got those. And then I did get these. And of course, my favorite right now, Nerds Clusters. So, let's make that. And down for now because it's a little full but I just this container is from Dollar Tree for my daughter's um Barbie party so my kids are gonna love this it's so cute we'll put it in the kitchen right there <clears throat> for them to just munch on okay so for Valentine's Day our plan is my us my husband my husband actually has to work Valentine's Day which actually is fine because I think Valentine's Day is on a Thursday and we're kind of busy on that night. So we're actually going to celebrate on the 13th. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm really wanting steaks. So we're going to do steak and my kids love cookie cake. So that's probably what we're going to do. I do have this one recipe that I love to make, but ends up being me that makes it or eats it all. So I think that we're just going to maybe just grab a cookie cake and um do like a nice dinner for class gifts i bought for my oldest so i only have three in school right now 
So for my oldest, we did like Lego sets last year and he loved them. So I bought him again this year and I put a whole bunch in my cart and then I had him like decide which ones he wanted. Apparently I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> but I, I told him, I'm like, I'm not returning them. So yours, these were only, I think $13. I'm like pre-packaged and everything and they're so cute. I want to say they're all different. So they're all like vehicles and then there's like, you can see there, red and blue vehicles. I guess I had like a police officer one that he wanted um, that I thought it was this one, but it's going to be fine. About the same vehicle related. Daughter, and then for their teachers, they've already told me that they don't need boxes, that they're going to make their own. So um, that's taken care of. Um, for my daughter, what I did was I found something. She's very into gymnastics. She loves gymnastics. I found this off of Etsy. And so I'm just going to cut these out. And then we had so much leftover candy, baby's Barbie party. So I convinced her to use the leftover ring pops. So I'm gonna do that for her and I'm gonna cut all that out. And then I have um, baggies. So I'll either put them in here or in these baggies, whichever one will fit. And then for my three-year-old, he goes part-time. Dollar Tree has some really good options. These are little skateboards and I, I found a free printable for him. And then I'm just going to um, unpackage each skateboard and put it, like just tape it on here or um, put ribbon on there and then put his name down here. So there's that for him. And then for the teachers, I bought these from Dollar Tree and I really didn't know what I was gonna do with them. And then I saw this thing on Instagram and it was so cute. It was um, like to make cherry. So that's what I'm gonna do. I bought, so what I'm gonna do for them is I bought candy from them. This, if you guys haven't tried these, these are so good. They have toffee and almonds in them. They're so good. Um, that's always hard because like you just don't know like what teachers are gonna like what candy they like and stuff. I have obviously three teachers and then two aides. Well, the packs came four in a pack, and so I'm going to do. Let me just show you. Um, I kind of feel bad because I just never know what to do like for the aid. Um, like, do I do the same as what I do for the teacher or not? Just put Reese's and then two of the little nuggets in here and then close them up. I might have to tape that just to be on the safe side. And then we have some pipe cleaners. And so it's going, essentially, ooh, it's going to look kind of like cherries. Twirl that. And then I have gift cards, so I just, I'll go ahead and do this. I bought um, just some green cardstock. I'm gonna make a leaf. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. That is so cute. And then the other day I went to Sonic and I got everyone just like $5 gift cards. Just gonna put the leaf and this and then attach it to the little cherries. So I think for the teachers, I'm gonna do two. And then for the aides, I'm just gonna do one. Then this back home is reason why my dog's going crazy. So anyways, I'm going to finish that.
that is it for Valentine's Day. It is February 1st, and so what I do like to do, I just started this last year, is that every day in February, I write something on a card of, that I love about my kids. And so I'll, I did that last night. I'll put that video in. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys on Sunday.